G'day everybody, this is Mark from Adelaide Field Academy. I'm back with another plague training video. This time I'm going to show you one of my absolute favourite plays. Um, it's Myers Roth play number two. Okay, So this is a really fun flow and I hope you really enjoy it. So let's get started. So as the name is on, is on the box, we start in the guard of Roth. To get into that guard, we're going to bring our weight backwards. Now if you can see here, I'll show you from the side. I want to really open up here so my hips are super open in my guard of Roth, okay? You can, you can turn your hip even further out if you like. That's going to allow you to do the whole pile of your springing out actions from that Roth guard much, much better, okay? And this is what we see in the text. We see this sort of really wide backward stance that allows for that transfer of weight. This is not just a normal perpendicular stance, but we need to open way up. Now we see why, because if I want to bring my weight back here, it's bringing my weight off the side of my knee, it's unstable. If I turn my foot back, okay, then suddenly I can bring my weight back here, it's much more comfortable. I'm ready to just bring that through, okay? Let's see that again, bring our weight back, so that we can come forward for our Roth cut, just so that we're setting the guard that we're going to do. Back here. Now, in this beautiful play, we don't make a Roth cut. Instead, we're going to make a Versheben, a sliding action. We go back and we slide over the top of our head. This is one of my favorite actions to do from Roth. And it is very, very useful in the middle of a fight. I'm back here, you're expecting something on this side, you come round the other side. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make this Vesheban action. We're going to go back in our guard, we're going to come over the top. This is a little bit like you imagine a sort of doing a zver up from underneath, over the top of your head. But it's one of Maya's handworks. We go back and then we cut the top of this. Start off just by getting that action, way back, and bring it forward catching. Way back, in rough, bring it forward catching. Now my says for this to slope a little bit down towards your left on this side, and catch it with your thumb on, on the flat. So it means catch it here. So we're back in this rough guard, and we're going to make our vestibular over the top. Just here, just bring it over the top of our head. Okay, now the step that Mike gives us with that is off to our right. So we go back into our guard and step off with our right, coming in behind, collecting their sword. We're assuming that they're going to strike from this side, but in practice, um, this is a really good action that we can do just to cover and cut off our opponent's options as I'm entering. You can do the same play and I can go, oh, I'm going to cut that option off and enter against you. Now, here's the fun bit. We're going to wind off to the inside. So we're going across and then we're going to change our weight across to the other side, boom, and snap in with a short edge there. Weight back, forward, bam. So we put our weight back, come forward, and do our stri strike. So that's our second action, our winding in from our left. So we're standing in our crossed hands. We're going to pull that pommel out to the side, well out to the side, okay, as we snap in at the ear. So we have caught the sword. Pull upon the cross, snap it at the ear. So just let's just work those two actions. We're going to start rough, one, two. Rough, one, two. And with any of these techniques, remember, form the original guard properly. That's an important part of it. You've got to have your preparation action to be part of your fencing, or else it just won't work when you try to put it into practice. Rough, one, two. 
Okay. Roth, one, two. Cool. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do from this section is having done this wind, we're going to push it off to the side. Uh, Maya says to wrench and push it hard off to the side so that as you wrench and you snap back around with crossed hands. So here, wrench, snap. Here, wrench, snap. Okay, we're going to wrench, snap. Okay, so we're going to do this crossed hand strike, not with the short or long edge, but with the flat and coming upwards. So we're going to wrench across and it can come upwards, striking with the flat. See, we're standing here, wrench across there. I'm just going to bring my weight slightly back this way while I do it. Going to wrench across here and then bring my weight back here. This is going to make me ready to finish the play with that glutes help. Okay, so we're here, our weight's this side, bring it across, change our weight a little bit and spring out and away with our final strike, okay? So, weight here, across, underneath, I might gather or something like that. This is to bring the, the parry down and we spring off. One, two, three. Here, one, two, three. Okay, so just a little bit of detail on that final glitzer. We're standing up in our bind here, having, having done the flat strike. Pull that pommel down and end with my palm standing completely up. Maya says you're striking in at the left ear. Okay, so here I'm standing here. I'm going to step away. Okay, see that back step there is going to make it make myself really nice and safe. It swings the blow in over the top and then we can finish it however we like. Okay, so we've got all the elements of our play. Let's put them together slowly back into our rough guard. Catch, wind. Shove it across, push that pommel right under to snap at the ear, and then step away. This is a lovely play that flows really beautifully. One more time. Rough, catch, wind. Shove across, flat. Okay, so back, catch, wind, shove, flat, ban. Back, Touch, wind, flat, bam. <laughs> remember that, put, remember that shove across. That's what makes the flat striking up work really well. Okay, so there you go. Do a bunch of practice of that. That is Maya's second play from Roth, from Zornhut. Um, one of my absolute favorites. It's got a lots of lovely actions in it. It's got this lovely glutel. Very, very characteristic Maya. I absolutely love it. Go away, do a bunch of practice of it. Cheers, guys.